Cooking with Len. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through one of my favorite foods, Detroit style conies. I'm excited about this one because, like I said, it's one of my favorites in the Midwest. It's popular. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get cooking. All right, so here we go. You're going to need your ground beef, which would be 80% lean or 20% fat if you want to go more leaner. Go for it. You're going to need three, gar three cloves of garlic. And you're going to need a cup of finely diced onions. Now, when I mean fine, you're going to need to really chop them up. So we're going to start by crumbling our beef into the pot, stock pot. Put our onions, three garlic, garlic cloves. You're gonna need these to be minced. This is one of two ways. If you have a mincer like I do, it makes it real super simple. Uh, if you don't, I'll show you that as well. So here we have, here we have a mincing tool. Very inexpensive, maybe 20 bucks on Amazon. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your little roller. Roll the thing, put the garlic in there. And what this rubber does, it takes off the shell. Put your garlic in your garlic mincer. Easy peasy squeeze minced garlic. Easy peasy. Now the second way, the other way you can mince garlic with a knife. A little more time consuming and you just got to watch your hands. So what you do is you put the garlic down, get your knife, all right, set it on top of the garlic. Be very careful because of the blade. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fist, it's going to pop, it's going to pop it. What this does is it breaks it up so you can take this hull off, this, this little shell off there. Peel that shell. All right. So now you're gonna take your garlic and cut into it. Watch your fingers. Just go very carefully if you have to. Don't go all Gordon Ramsay or whatever because you don't don't want you guys cutting yourself. Then you just finally cut into it. Very careful. And <laughs> Now that we got the beef, onion, garlic in your stock pot, you'll want to get a wooden spoon. This is easier to break up ground beef, get it all little tiny crumbles. Um, let's get this going. We're going to cook this on medium to high heat. Might take a minute. Swish it around. Let's get this stirred in. Garlic in there. When you break up the beef, you want to kind of jab at it, kind of get it loosened up, get jabbed at it. I know we, we did separate it earlier, but this is when I get it crumbly. So. All right, we have our ground beef all set to go. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask, do I need to drain the grease? And no, you don't. You don't want to drain the grease because that's what's going to give this the flavor that you're going to want. So now we're going to add our spices. You're going to need one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, three quarter teaspoons of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. You can get this in your store if you look really well. They're in a little tiny jar. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, or pepper if you have it, any kind of pepper will do, as long as it's black pepper. 
And then finally, lastly, you're going to want a few pinches of sugar. And when I mean pinches, you're just going to pinch it. So you're going to take a pinch. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but it does add flavor to it. I'm going to stir this up. Make sure you... That was awesome. Make sure you turn your heat down to low. Probably couldn't do that again if I tried. Okay, we're going to mix this all up. So now it kind of looks like a sloppy joe mix. Next, we're going to put in three tablespoons of yellow mustard. I'm going to put in a 15 ounce can of pureed tomatoes. You don't want tomato sauce. You want pureed tomatoes. Tomato sauce has a bit of a sweeter taste to it and also one quarter cup of water. Now what I do is one quarter cup. So I take the water, I put it in the can and I just slosh back and forth. I try to get as much of that puree out as possible. Now we're gonna mix this in. Mix it in good. You don't want any yellow. Mix, mix it in so that you don't see any more yellow of the yellow mustard. That, that'll be a good indicator. So now it's gonna look like a soupy sauce. So what we're gonna do, we wanna turn this heat up a little bit to get this, to get it going. Get the coney sauce to about a simmer. Then we're going to turn the heat down to medium low and then we're going to simmer for 30 minutes covered. Uh, come back every few minutes, stir it around that way it doesn't burn on the bottom. All right, let's check on this. It's been a half hour. Oh yeah, look at that. So a little trick is that while you're cooking this, if you see a little, uh, little bit sticking to the pan, don't don't get all upset it's okay you just want to turn your heat all the way back to low that means your pan is a little too high you don't want it scorching so you just move it around get that little tiny bit that's sticking it'll get up just move it around now what we're going to do is we're going to continue simmering on low if you have that if you have that scorching going on or medium low uh, for another 10 minutes without the cover so what this is going to do it's going to firm it right up so it's not as soupy okay while we're waiting for our coney sauce we might as well get some hot dogs going you can grill them boil them i prefer to steam um, so i'm getting some water ready and i use a double boiler and when this water's got a good roll going, a boil going, I'm just gonna stick this double boiler on there and then we're gonna cook some hot dogs. Okay, we got a good boil going on. So we're gonna take our double boiler, put our hot dogs right in the, the boiler there. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, your preference on hot dogs, I prefer beef, bun size. You know, this company's not sponsoring me, so I'm not going to say who the hell it is. Alright, so hot dogs, they'll take about a, about five minutes. And <clears throat> in between takes, when I've moved this, the coney sauce over, I also threw some fries in the oven. So we're going to have some coney dogs and fries. You can have just regular coney dogs. You can just put potato chips or, you know, like we've done fries, any type. So... Coney sauce does go excellent on fries. The wife loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Now we got our hot dogs. Looks like everything's all good. So now we got coney sauce thickened up. Hot dogs are ready. So some people, if you're just beginning and you don't know, beginning on cooking, you don't know what hot dog looks like when it's cooked it starts splitting on the ends it starts getting plump it means you're good to go it's like we got some good steamed hot dogs going on here coney sauce looks like it's all it's really thickened up in that last 10 minutes we're good to go i'll plate one of these for you guys all right we're going to plate this little bad boy now what we're going to do is we're going to make a coney with everything so that means you get Coney sauce, you get your onions, and then you also get some mustard. So we're going to take hot dog bun, we're going to get a hot dog in there, 
Right. Should have done that. I'm gonna put a little coney sauce. Gonna get a little bit of mustard going on. Add some onions if you want. Coney with everything gets all this. If you ever hear it in a restaurant, that's what they're talking about. And there you go. Coney with everything. Mustard, chili, and onions. I've got some fries on there. If you want to put some chili on there, go right for it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you, you can drop a like if you want. Um, please click on the blue flame in the bottom right corner of this video to subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, hopefully this turns out well for you. Uh, leave a comment if you want down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.